There's this island St. Catharines I went to once and I just can't forget it. I keep picturing myself on the beach at sunrise. And I want to go back so bad. I've got so many great memories, so many pictures in my head and on my camera that I'm ready to make some more. The wildlife there is all around and not afraid of you. There's beautiful old trees. Spanish moss hanging down, great for climbing. Beautiful oleanders and all kinds of other flowers. And all other kinds of critters to watch and take pictures of. It's enough for me, baby. It's enough for me. Oh, heavenly day, heavenly day, heavenly day. Some of my fondest memories are sitting out on this deck watching the sunset after working all day with the sea turtles. And I want to go back and I want to take new friends with me and meet new friends here as well as spend time with the staff that's always on St. Catharines doing good every day. So we're going to assemble a new crew and get on a boat and try to get back to the island. Just sit right back and you hear a tale, the tale of a fateful trip That started from this tropic point aboard this tiny ship The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour A three-hour tour The weather started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossing if not for the courage of a fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship set ground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. With Gilligan, the skipper too. A millionaire and his wife. A movie star, the professor and Mary Ann. Here on Gilligan Pile. So this is the tale of our castaways. For a long, long time They'll have to make the best of things It's an uphill climb But first mate and his skipper too Will do their very best To make the others comfortable In a tropic island nest No phone, no light No motor car, not a single luxury Like Robinson Crusoe It's primitive So this is our crew and we're having a great time Sailing on the bay at sunset Getting close to St. Catharines And then the weather changes and Joey notices this water spout and we're getting closer to it and it's starting to toss our boat around and it's thundering and raining and we're getting pushed onto a shore we hope it's the right island but we're not sure where we are anymore and here we end up watching the water spout and stranded on the island so what do we do now? We get Dr. Vance with his trusty machine to show us where to go. And then Beth's a little scared because she's not sure it's going to work. But we never really doubted Dr. Vance, and sure enough, his machine led us to these. Fresh and clean gators ready on the beach for us to go do our work. To go save some sea turtles. So we all gathered up together and loaded our equipment and got ready for a fun day on the beach. But before we could do that, we had to unite ourselves by putting our tattoos on. And some of us got creative about where we were going to put our tattoos, but nonetheless, we were all united. What's all of this about? Don't get your way, all you do is fuss and pile. So we're all excited and we're ready to go. Especially Diane. Diane's got a radio 
She's ready and raring to go to give us some orders for the day. She's the first one in her gator. Excited. She wants to be the leader. Until a lemur comes and knocks her off her gator and sends her off the island. We were all pretty bummed about Diane leaving except Ann Beth because she jumped for joy because she got her own gator out of the deal. As the day went on, we had good luck saving some sea turtles. We found some nests and we transplanted them. And we even came along a couple of nests that were hatching. So we got to see brand new babies coming out of the eggs. I know sometimes I'm out of control. You're the only reason I keep on coming. You're the only reason I keep on coming. There's nothing like holding a sea turtle for the first time. And of course, we don't hold them very long, just so we can get a picture of the memory that'll last forever. Sweet pea, apple of my eye. Don't know where and I don't know why. You're the only reason I keep on. We don't look like a group that's just been stranded on a deserted island. And you're right. We are on St. Catharines. We found the right place and we're having a blast. Don't get your way, all you do is fuss and pile. You're the only reason I keep on coming home. We're so thankful for the day that we've had and the success with our sea turtle conservation work that we decided to put a prayer scarf up in a tree and just toast to nature. It was a traditional ceremony that Gail led. Each one of us would take turns toasting from the other. And we each spoke about something that we were thankful for. It really brought us even closer together. It is kind of crazy how doing something to help save the planet can bring you all closer together. So you think you can tell. When you come here, you never want to leave this place. Except when the lemurs come after you. The big mama. She'll come after you and she'll kick you out and take over when they're ready for you to leave. And that's exactly what they did. They came and took our gators and took our food and told us to leave. But they said, if we give them some time, they may let us come back one day. So I'm gonna go with that. I can hear a heartbeat from a thousand